Find the equation of the conic with center 0, 0, focus 0, negative 1, and E equal to 2 thirds. Here E is called the eccentricity of the conic. Solution. Because the eccentricity is less than 1, we have an ellipse in this problem. And usually in these problems, it's a really good idea to go to the side and draw a little sketch of what you have. So we know that the center is right here. And the focus is 0, negative 1. So that's right over here. So this is 0, negative 1. And we know it's an ellipse because the eccentricity is less than 1. And the foci always lie on the major axis. So we know that we have a vertical major axis. So we have a vertical major axis. And because the center is 0, 0, the general equation is going to be x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. And here a is bigger than b. So whenever the vertical axis is major, the a goes under the y. The bigger number goes under the y. Whenever the major axis is horizontal, the a goes under the x. So the bigger number goes under the x. Okay, we just have to find a and b. And we have this focus here. This distance here is C. So C is equal to 1. And we know that the eccentricity is 2 thirds. And that's also equal to C over A. So now we can go ahead and plug in our value of C. So we have 2 thirds equals 1 over A. Then we can cross multiply to solve for A. So A times 2 is 2A. Two and 1 times 3 is 3. And so we end up with a equal to 3 halves. So now we have a, we have c, we just have to find b, and we can plug it into our formula, and we are done. So there is an equation that relates a, b, and c. B, this is an ellipse, and the equation is c squared equals a squared. And because it's an ellipse, here's a really cool trick. It has a plus sign, so you put a minus sign here. If it was a hyperbola, you would have a minus sign here, and then you would just put a plus sign here. So c squared, well, c is 1, so this is 1. a squared, uh, we're squaring the 3 halves, so we get 9 fourths. And then we have minus b squared. Now we'll go ahead and solve this for b squared. So subtracting 9 fourths from both sides. We can think of 1 as 4 fourths. So we get 4 minus 9, so negative 5 fourths equals negative b squared. Dividing by negative 1, we get b squared equals 5 fourths. And now we can go ahead and write the general formula down. So x squared over b squared, which is 5 fourths, plus y squared over a squared. Well, a squared is 9 fourths. And this is equal to 1. And we should probably go ahead and clean this up. We're taking x squared and we're dividing by 5 fourths. That's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is 4x squared over 5 plus 4y squared over 9. And that's equal to 1. And that's it.